Monster Hunter, man, what a drug. I mean, this game, this game is what fueled my fire for playing on the PlayStation Portable again. And, you know, this is also what started the generation I was meant to be in Monster Hunter. Monster Hunter Freedom Unite. Mwah. This is one of my favorite games of all time, people. I can't even begin to express my love for this game. From the iconic Rathian and Rathless to the newer Narga... Narga Kuga. What kind of name is that? Jeez, Capcom, get your game up. All puns intended. Anyway, this game is a full-on remake of Monster Hunter Freedom 2, worse than all. It has some issues, like like UI only a mother could love, many different problems with hitboxes, and don't even get me started on the graphic. Okay, bad stuff aside, this game is a thing of beauty, and it has a big sword in it, so you know it's a good, right? Monster Hunter Freedom Unite is one of, in my opinion, the most iconic Monster Hunter games on the PlayStation Portable, especially since we came from 2004 with this, to this. The gameplay gets repetitive, yes, but the sheer variety of monsters are enough to get you at least 40 hours clocked in this game alone. But there is one downfall to this game that even the veterans of Monster Hunter can't stand, and that is the graphics. I mean, the graphics look great for the PSP, but they are so dated and old looking that if you played Monster Hunter World, then you go from this, to this. Now this game is crazy difficult, like I'm talking final boss is almost unkillable by yourself hard. And then there are the basic monsters. Like, these are just too easy. I can grind the Velocidrome easily. But then there's G-Rank. And that's when everything you knew about monsters goes out the window. You see, G-Rank pits you only against only the hardest monsters, unless you take care of yourself in these certain situations. Now let's look at the only finest monster in this game. The Bulldrome! Hello, um... I really do appreciate you guys watching this video, if you happen to run by this video and see it. This is my first review in a while, and it's taken me about two days to make it, yeah, but it's one of my hardest works I've ever put in to a video I've ever done, as of yet. This is the most edited video I've ever done. This is the, hopefully, the, one of the better videos I've done, other than PCBS video. But, I appreciate you guys giving me the support that you have while I've made streaming. And while I've been playing games and pu and pushing off what I've been trying to do as of recently. And I really do appreciate that. So, you know, thank you. Thank you very much for watching this video if you happen to run by it. Bye-bye.